Tom, you're my secret daddy. Ooh. The program works. Just Thank never, you. never get married. Don't have kids. Oh, awful. What you're doing on the radio is is, is great, man. I, I I I really look up to you. I love you, man. Thank you. You're like a godfather to me. Every word you say, I I just do it. And oh man, great son of Sam. Look at here, look at here, Tom. Let me tell you. You are the truth, the way, and the light. You hear me? Your show is what all men need. I mean, we we need to get get put up on game, and, and you, you do a great job with that. Understand that not everybody has to get married. Everyone out there, you don't have to get married. It is not something that has Nobody to Nobody has to get married. At all. Nobody. Sometimes it's just lonely. Darling, don't you have friends? Well, I'm, I'm talking more about kind of bedroom affairs, but I definitely have friends. I have Couldn't a you just have a bullpen of, uh, of friends with benefits? No, I don't have any of those. <laughs> you got to get on the stick here, Tom. I think I'm a little bit shy to do that. I don't even know how I go about kind of starting Literally and figuratively, like you got to get on the stick. Okay, well, just send me the map of where the stick is. I'll jump right on it. Darling, uh, I'll give you a Thomas guide. You know, before I listened to you, I was in a relationship, came home one day from work, just decided that uh, I wanted to beat her to the punch. And when she came home from work, all of my things were out of the apartment, and she was dropped. The things you've been saying, they've sunken in right now, and I get it now. In the beginning of the summer, I barely started listening to you. And you know what? You, like, you're the, you're the new Bible, the New Testament, if anything. Everything you say is just perfect. Like, there's no, there's nothing wrong with what you're saying. Tell me this, Rick, uh, in listening to everything I have to say, uh, tell the losers out there what your net worth is. Well, if I liquidated everything today, it would be somewhere between 11 to $13 million. Wow. Now, uh, tell me, Rick, uh, how much of this is due to the uh, female companionship you've had? Let's see. Um, zero. <laughs> I love your show, and for all those women that hate you, screw them. <laughs> yeah, screw, well, I, I, I'm working on that. I love the threats of suicide. That's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do they actually do? They never do it. You're serious? Well, they, they try it on you, and they see what if it'll work. <laughs> all right. Okay. Oh, uh, man, they're well, crying. I'm telling you, Lewis, when you experience your first experience with a woman, Openly weeping. <laughs> You're going to love it. All right, I'll trust you on that. Oh, I would say that's a goal in life. <laughs> All right. All I'm saying is, is that you not be so harsh on women and, and just bash them like you do. I love women. Everyone should own one. Own? Oh, what do you mean Own. Did you mean own? Okay, fine then. You act, that's actually like a Bible term because if you mean own, then there that's you marriage. go. Just call me Pastor Tom. Oh my God! Okay, I gotta go, Tom, because you I just got a headache already. You driving me up the wall. From a place. We're not allowed to reveal. Come on now. It's Flash Friday. Man, who's the with Tom? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800. 5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in to the final Flash Friday of the season. This is it. No more after this. As we go to the Labor Day weekend, 
We're closing the books on Flash Friday for the summer. That's it. So this is your last shot here to turn on your headlights wherever you might be and show everybody you're a Tom Likas listener. Turn them on right now. And ladies, if you see somebody with the headlights on, you know what your part in this is. That guy is showing his loyalty to the Tom Likas show, to the Tom Likas lifestyle, to the content, the concepts, the topics. It is your job to reward his loyalty by showing the man with the headlights on your cans, your rack, your breasts. Let's get a look. We flash you, ladies. You flash us. It's that simple. We'd love to see what you have. Guys, if you see a nice pair of knockers, call in and report to us here at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. And ladies, if you're uh, in need of some headlights, if you can't uh, find anyone to flash... Or if your plan is to go to a fixed location, park yourself somewhere and show your cans off on this final Flash Friday, on this holiday weekend, that might be a good idea. Park yourself somewhere and have the guys come over and take a look. Call us here at 1-800-5800-TOM, 1-800-5800-866. Here we are on this Flash Friday. Anything goes, anything at all. We can talk about anything that's on your mind. It could be anything we discussed on the air this week. Oh, we had quite a week this week. We talked about the airlines phasing out pre-boarding for people with small children. I'm in favor of that. Phasing it out, that is. We talked about an article from MSN.com that was called Single Women Slam by Housing Mess. And, like, should we be concerned about this? That was my question. Uh, the, um, we talked about the activists who are calling Michael Phelps a killer at large because he's doing endorsements on the heels of his nine gold medals, doing endorsements for Kellogg's Frosted Flakes and for McDonald's. So, yes, the Children's International Obesity Foundation is calling Michael Phelps a killer. Jesus. We talked about the wife of John Edwards, Elizabeth Edwards, who's being blasted for keeping uh, the John Edwards affair a secret when he decided to run for the Democratic nomination for president. Aren't we lucky that didn't happen? We talked about the uh, woman who... uh, who wrote in uh, Oprah Winfrey's website that uh, she's happily married, but she dreams of divorce. Jesus. Uh, We talked about the fact that I have zero tolerance now for baggage. Any baggage, out. You know, children, obviously, out. Ex-husbands, ex-boyfriends, ex-anything, out. Uh, no nagging, no whining, no complaining, no criticizing me, no critiquing. And by the way, I'm perfectly happy to live alone if I can't find somebody who, who will live up to the zero tolerance policy in my home. That simple. Uh, we talked to guys who uh, brag about going bareback. They have sex without condoms and they're proud. We talked to a lot of those guys. We also did an interesting uh, hour where we talked to, uh, instead of the usual losers who call in, We talk to listeners who are phenomenally successful, some of them with net worths over $100 million, many of them over a million. That was pretty amazing. And we had a conversation. This was on yesterday's program. We talked about prenuptial agreements that include, among other things, demands for a minimum amount of sex and demands that people lose a certain amount of weight. And I said, uh, if you have to put those things in a prenuptial agreement... Maybe you shouldn't marry the person in the first place. Talked about all of those things, and there's more. There's more. There's more. I mean, a Barack Obama's speech. Do we talk about that? No. He did give a great speech. Did you see them? Great speech. Like him or not. That was quite an event last night on TV, and a lot of people watched it, too. 
by the way. And then John McCain. Did you hear about John McCain today? John McCain has named a vice presidential running mate. Oh, my God, help us all. <laughs> John McCain naming his vice presidential running mate, whose name is uh, Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin, you know who Sarah Palin is? <laughs> Besides being a chick, Sarah Palin is the governor of Alaska. Well, now we know McCain's going to carry Alaska. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of electoral votes there, Alaska. Uh, Sarah Palin is a first-term governor. A first-term governor. And she was the uh, mayor of some uh, podunk city in Alaska before she was a first-term governor. So this pretty much takes the uh, Barack Obama doesn't have enough experience thing right off the table. Can you imagine if McCain finally dies of old age? I mean, come on. The guy is the oldest candidate to run for the first time for president in history. Can you imagine if he keels over and your your president is Sarah Palin of Alaska? <laughs> uh, the email, I should tell you, is already pouring in here. And we don't talk about politics a lot on the show, but um, a lot of people who said they didn't like Obama, primarily guys who said they didn't like Obama, or guys who were like mildly in favor of McCain, <laughs> this cinched it. They're done with McCain. Done. I mean, you have got to see the mail that's coming in here. Here's one. This is a listener named Jordan. Oh, so many of these are coming in. Here, uh, Jordan says, I'm a registered Democrat, but for the past few months, I've been throwing my support to John McCain to become president. After viewing several of his petty smear campaigns against Obama... And because of his recent patronizing selection of an unknown woman to be on his ballot, he has proven you, meaning me, correct. McCain is a bad choice for president. He has attacked Obama on his character and has neglected the issues at hand. Obama has not nearly lauded McCain as the jerk he really is. McCain is so low for the commercials he has endorsed, including the commercials comparing uh, Obama to Britney uh, Spears and Paris Hilton. And the MLK speech convenience ads, Obama has maturity despite his comparable age. I can't believe Obama has turned me to his side, not by his own doing, but because he is now the lesser of two evils. I am so bereaved that I once supported such a disgusting man as McCain for this long. You were right about him. Obama all the way. That's one of many emails I'm receiving uh, the naming of Sarah Palin happened this morning. And uh, that was uh, leading up to the Republican convention coming up uh, beginning this Monday. Wow. So all of this is good. I mean, there's so much grist for the mill, so little time. And if you want to get in on this, so you can talk about anything you like, anything at all. All you have to do is be fascinating. If you're not fascinating, we kick your ass the hell off the telephone. So just dial this telephone number, 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. We kick off the last Flash Friday of 2008 as we continue. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I want to let you know I did not believe in the whole Flash Friday. I didn't think that people really did that. I drive a lifted truck with limited windows, so I turned my headlights on. And sure enough, two girls flashed me. <laughs> and I rolled down my windows, and uh, they realized it wasn't a guy and sped up a little bit. Extremely embarrassed. But I am now a believer of your Flash Friday. <laughs> what do these girls look like? They have nice cans. They were definitely fake, but they were nice. The guy did a good job, or girl, whatever. You know, it's o it's only chicks who say, oh, they were definitely fake. And no guy cares. It's Flash Friday on the Tom Likey Show. No! The Tom Likey Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. 
Tom on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Great. Hey, um, I've listened to you the last few days here. I've listened to your show quite a bit here. And you keep on talking about how your show is a you know, non-political talk show. But it seems like everything these days is about politics with you. So, so let me understand. And uh, Let's get down the list of things we talked about this week. I have the list right here in front of me. And since you th- seem to think you know a lot about what we do, let's go over the topics we talked about this week. We talked about airlines eliminating uh, pre-boarding for people with young children. The we talked program. about what? The mortgage program. We talked about mortgages, but not about the politics of it. Well, we all, fund it. Who's going to fund it? Well, we're not done yet. Talked about Michael Phelps and whether he's a killer for endorsing Frosted Flakes. We talked about uh, the woman who is uh, happily married but dreaming of divorce. We talked about guys who have sex without condoms and are proud of it. We talked about people who uh, listen to the show who have net worths in excess of a million dollars. We talked about people with prenuptial agreements that include the demands uh, for a certain amount of sex or a certain amount of weight loss. Um, none of those hours were about politics. None of them. It, just, it, it, it seems like you're that was all this week alone. Well, that's just, oh. just because that's all you can remember, or that's the only time you choose to pay attention. Right. Well, we, we, listen we to talk about program. politics very little on this program. Right. Uh huh. Right. Hey, I, I, and I don't, one thing I don't understand, because there was a guy the other day that called up and he's telling you how you were all over the court and you kind of hung up on him and over the politic issue here. And yet you are kind of all over the court. You know, you know, Democrats here living in California all my life have been the big gifts to all these underachievers. All those overachievers always have to be. I am not a Democrat. <laughs> well, I am not. I am one. not. And by the way, one. check the voter rolls, matter of public record. I am not a Democrat. And you okay, can look it up. For, why are you voting for a Democrat? Doesn't Who's make me a Democrat. A- I'm going to vote for somebody. Yeah, but why would you want to give your money to somebody and let it give them all? Give all your I money would vote away? because I would vote for anybody but John McCain. Anybody but John McCain. I, I, I thought about that for years too, not liking the guy over his issues. But I'll tell you what, I, I wish there was, and I hope when he gets in office, they put the nuclear button right next to his alarm clock in the morning to scare every one of these people away from Iran, Iraq, and all these little countries. Sure, they're nothing but trouble. Well, that's great. Put that in their minds, so I thought you know. But well, that's vote, wonderful. Yeah, but to vote for a Democrat over way. an issue, hey, stop giving your money away to all these underachievers. I'm By the way, achiever. I've been giving my money away for the last eight years, and you know how I've been giving away? Because a dollar is not worth what a dollar was worth eight years ago. You know, there's other ways to tax people, and I have been taxed, and in fact, I will tell you something, that after eight years of Bill Clinton, I was a lot richer than I am today after eight years of George Bush. Uh, I am too. That's a fact. Hey, I'm in, a, I'm in a better position now today than I was eight years ago. Well, I'm in a better position than I was eight years ago, but I'm not in a better position than I was after eight years of Bill Clinton. No, yeah, that was a pretty nasty one, but you know something? No, 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 no. It was not nasty at all. The eight years of Bill Clinton, the stock market went through the roof. Unemployment was low. Inflation was low. The economy went very, very well. Even people who hate Bill Clinton, I'll have to admit that. Right. Hey, Tom, I think you right? so. I think we should get really back to talking about the women and what you're good at. I really love it. Uh, I Tom, is- uh, Tom, uh, Tom, I'm real good at talking about politics because I know what I'm talking about. You right. think I'm not good at it because I don't agree with your little opinion. Hey, you don't have to. It's not a bill. That's what politics is about. Not everybody agrees. With well, guess you what? I am good at talking about politics, and if I feel like talking about it, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I am good at it. I just don't happen to agree with you. Right. Yeah, and I, I hey, Tom. <laughs> yes. Yeah, how you doing? Hey, um, you know what I how am I doing? I, what I are you an amateur calling in here? What's the deal? First, first time caller here, and here's the show. This should happen anyways. Anybody that comes into the California border should be heavily taxed, and it should be you know all you. We we already did that. It's called we, we already did that. It's called Prop Thirteen. Look it up. Yeah, but you know something? It's all your transplants that come in here that abuse the system, that abuse electricity like you, you don't have to pay for it. You oh, yes, yes. I'm water, sure, I'm want. sure you're living in a, I'm sure you're living in a hovel somewhere. I'm sure you're living in a tent. I heard you one day. You were saying that, you know something? I'm going to use electricity as much as I want and all the waters as much as I want because Which you're I a am. taker. You're a taker. No, I pay for it. You just I'm pay, not a taker. Pay. I pay for it. You, no, no, no. You just pay, I pay, pay for pay. everything I use. Well, yeah. 
No, but you know something? We're in problems because everybody's transplants come into California and take, take, take. Right. Yeah, constantly. Mm. You guys are kooks. It's amazing how kooks. often you listen to this program. No, no, you're kooks. You're, you're a kook. It's amazing how you long you've been listening. It's a how many, how many years have you been listening? Takes. You're a taker. How many years have you been you listening? take everything, Todd. All right, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Trying to jerk my chain? Not going to work. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number on this Flash Friday. It's Victor on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Big Not dog. much. Doing great, Victor. Hey, uh, I'm just calling in because uh, I'm 25 years old, and uh, and I just recently uh, finally just kicked my baby's mom out the house. She's unemployed, and uh, she, now she's back with... Uh, at her mom's, really not even her mom's house. It's her mom's boyfriend's apartment with, like, a million of her brothers and sisters. Yeah, I feel bad because my kids have to follow. But you know what? It's to the point where I think she was just like, oh, man, she she, she got, I ain't going to lie, she got heavy. She she started nagging where I would go. And then, you know, I barely, I barely got uh, my crap together. I barely got a year in. I, I, I'm an ex-con. I got rid of my pro number. You know, I'm going, you know, I'm like, to me, it's like, oh, man, I got a lot of women I got to catch up to. You know, the last 10 years, I've just been in and out of the system, but I'm done with all that. You know, and I got a pretty good job. I'm I'm a carpenter. I'm the you know for starters like twenty bucks an hour from somebody coming from nothing. That's a million bucks. Now this is where I'm getting at. Cause she kind of knows the system and how it works and where the money comes from. Where you know I'm thinking about filing for full child support just to cover my end of of um for child support. The thing is, I ain't gonna well, lie. why didn't I've you been... think of that before you knock some bitch up? Oh, I was 18, 17, and so what? back in high school. You're an idiot, okay. Yeah, oh, hell yeah. I, I don't know what was happening. I was a kid. I just I just swore I was tough. I swore I knew what was up, you know? Because, oh, if anything goes wrong, I'll just fight. That's how I was, you know? But now I look at the long run, you know? But I still, I'm still young. I, I still got to face what I got to face and just cover my tracks. The thing is, I, I can't really take responsibility of taking my, my two kids, but it would it be right just to cover, like I said, cover my hand and just file for full custody. You have, why do you have two kids? Oh, because, see, the, the, the second one came in, like, because, you know, parole date and it's been a while. And then why did you, why that, did, that means you have to impregnate somebody? I don't understand. Oh, of course not, because nobody told me, you know? No, nobody no, told no, no, you no, what? No, no. People told me. People told me. I just People told you live. what? What is it they told you? They told me to wear protection. They told me to so be you, smart So you did about not know about condoms? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but see, I, I kind of came from, like, 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 a ghetto neighborhood, you know? So really, like... Like, if anything, everybody was telling me the opposite of what was right. Well, you know, you know, I grew up in a ghetto neighborhood, too. In fact, I grew up in the worst neighborhood in America. The worst. And you can look it up. It's the Bronx. My zip code was 10457. I was in the neighborhood of Yankee Stadium in New York, okay? So, believe yeah. me, I was in the ghetto. And do you know what I did as a kid? I said, whatever these people are doing, I'm doing the opposite. Yeah. So what did you do? You took advice from the same morons who live in the ghetto. Yeah, exactly. Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you say, you know what? This place sucks. So I'm going to have to do the opposite of what everybody else tells me to do. Well, really, really, this is what it was. It was a feeling at the time. See, because at the time, I was doing a lot, a lot, of, a lot of wrong things. I was like, you know, I was like. Oh, man, I was dealing drugs. I was making money. I, this chick was my high school sweetheart. I thought I had it. I thought I had it good, you know? And just like the show you were talking about yesterday, is like, okay, have something going on good, but why screw it up? And, and, and that's not what I had. That's not tensions I had back then. You know, I remember, I'm like 17, 18, bar barely realizing anything. And uh, I, I, didn't, I don't have no older brother or anybody really, you know, that took me under their wing. And told me the real, the, you know, the real, right. you know, the real story. I mean, yeah. my dad was in the picture. My mom, oh, I hate my mom. When my mom calls, and and I got a new phone. It says the name when, when it's ringing. The caller ID comes up, and then you'll say the name on the caller ID. Yeah, while you're wearing the big house, that caller ID became really popular. Yeah. <laughs> 
so and now like I can hear her name, and you know, I'm just looking at my dad like I'm not here. You, you know, it's like my mom just kicked us out as soon as we were 18 because she wanted to go uh, haul around. You know, she wanted her space. So I was like, I, I was gone. I was called your mom 40. Uh, no, older. She's 40, but she doesn't look like it, and she's still hitting clubs. You know, and that's that's not quite what I want to show my my kids because I also have a daughter, and that's you know, it's like oh, man, you know, I, I don't know how they're gonna end up, but I know it's almost time. It's almost time for your daughter to get knocked up, isn't it? What is she four? <laughs> what was that? Almost time for your daughter to get knocked up, isn't it? Hell no. How old is she? She's 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 young. She's three. Three. That's almost yeah. time. Almost time. Hell no. Not on my watch. Hope not. Yeah, hope not. Because then I'll turn back into the old me. <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Joaquin on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? I'm doing okay, Joaquin. I got a question, man. Everything you say, everything, everything's perfect. Would you say? You know, you're you're like a father. But why do you like to choose, you know, losers about you know your your politi your political way? You're saying they're democratic people and all that. Come on, man. You know that's garbage. What? You, you want to vote for Obama instead of John McCain? You know that's absolutely, garbage, right? absolutely, absolutely. So, so you like to choose losers? Then I thought well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what's been losing. You know what's been losing? The stock market. I, or haven't you noticed? Yeah, you, you tell me you got money on oil. I remember last time you said you invested right. money on the gas. But I'm talking about the broad stock market. Have you seen well, it? Yes, yes, it's down, you know. But it's, you it's, know not, it's not just down, it's way down. How about the dollar? How's the dollar doing? Well, 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 it's, How it's is the of, dollar doing? It's because of inflation. You, but, who, caused who caused that? Who caused that? That was, that was Bush. Right. And, and John McCain, John McCain voted with George Bush 90 to 95 percent of the time on everything. And he wants to continue the policies of George Bush. Or haven't you heard that? I heard of that. but it, it, Yeah. It, it, so I, you know what? I'm tired of inflation. I'm tired of high oil prices. I'm tired of the dollar being in the tank. I'm tired of the stock market going in the tank. I'm tired of it. So, so you're going to go with this one guy telling you to change, change this and change that? I, you know what? Anybody but Bush and the people who agree with Bush. Anybody. you, you got to talk straight about something. You know, I'm talking straight right now. I'm telling you I would vote for anybody who is not George Bush and does not agree with George Bush. Oh, you, you, you'll vote with anybody that's not George Bush or not a Republican, you say? Anyone who doesn't agree with George Bush is who I will vote for. I don't know, Tom. I guess I'll call you back up November the fifth, November the eighth, to see who won, Tom. I don't know who's going to win. I'm not making a prediction as to who's going to win. I'm just saying that I am not going to vote for more George Bush. I'm tired of it. And you know what? Most of America is tired of George Bush. No, 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 no. You, you always. I know. I guess you always seem like the big. You know, the 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 right way money. You know, the money coming to you. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, I, I thought you always seemed that way. You always gave me that impression. So what, well, why would this change your impression? Uh, well, you, you keep your uh, potty mouth to yourself. We have a zero tolerance policy here. You're out! Uh, the S word is still not allowed on the radio. And it won't be when you vote for John McCain. I can tell you that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's the final Flash Friday of 2008. Get those knockers out, girls! Tom Likas. Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. I'm 42, and I'd love to bang an 18-year-old. That'd be great. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's... Sound like a shot! 1-800-5-800-TOM. The final flash Friday of 2008. This is it. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our number. DeAndre, you're on the Tom Likas show. Come on. Hey, how you DeAndre, doing, Tom? Doing okay. 
Hey, I, I'm good myself. Uh, I just uh, wanted to uh, call uh, regarding to the uh, actually it's the two idiots <laughs> that call regarding to you choosing Obama. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just think that uh, they're ignorant because um, I don't think that you should be um, you should you shouldn't be in a box. You know, like most people vote for a Republican because they're a Republican, or they vote for a Democrat because they're a Democrat. Or, you know, you get what I'm saying, right? So I just think that they're, they're idiots to want to, to think like that in a box like that because the real issue is, like you just said before, the stocks are going down, gas prices are going up, gas prices have gotten ridiculous because uh, the school system now can't even afford gas now. And, you know, and that's why the gas went down a little bit because of the school system, but it's just ridiculous, you know? And, well, not uh, only that, but the dollar has uh, gone down in value. And even if you don't travel anywhere, uh, if you buy anything made in other countries like cars, <laughs> they all cost more because the dollar's worth less. That's why we have inflation. Yep. That's, that's true. That's true. And I, I totally agree with you. I'm actually a nonpartisan person because I just only uh, vote based on issues and, um, and uh, what their proposals are and pretty much how their history are and, and uh, how they achieved things in the past. But I totally agree with you, Tom, regarding to uh, voting for Obama, uh, regarding to change, and um, and I believe that he can do it. You know, um, That's the same thing they said with Clinton when he first came in. They, they said that he was too young, and look what he's done for his eight-year term. Well, here's the other thing. Did you see Obama's speech last night? Uh, unfortunately, I didn't. I was just coming from Vegas. <laughs> Try go, go online, look it up on YouTube, wherever you have to look it up. Okay. okay, because it it was brilliant. And after eight years of that blithering moron who's been the president, okay. to see an intelligent, well spoken, well educated person running for president was so refreshing. I don't care what his politics are. I'm tired of the country being run by uneducated morons. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, this I guy is smarter than the last two presidents put together, <laughs> and I'm including Bill Clinton in there. Absolutely. And I think, I think what he did, um, uh, I think it was like a couple of months ago, a month ago, how he was actually making, um, a pre-treaty with, uh, with the foreign government, you know, in London, uh, in certain countries to kind of make that relationship beforehand, uh, so he can, uh, make those promises that he's making to us. Cause all actuality, he has to make those agreements with them to order, in order for us to actually, uh, have deals over here too at the same time for the people. Well, I think going abroad was good for people who think the guy uh, doesn't have any experience. Barack Obama went, and uh, uh, he was received like a rock star. I mean, I, I was in France this year, and people there love him and can't wait to see him become elected president. <laughs> that is awesome. What do you think about um, McCain's uh, vice president that he chose? I knew oh. he was going to go out the box. I actually thought he was going to go for Rudy Giuliani. Or he was going to go for Colin Powell because since Obama is is, is uh, African American, right? Just just by that is out the box. I thought I I just knew he was going to go out the box with his vice president. Why would he pick somebody from a state with so few delegates? Let's start with that. Even if this was the most experienced person you could get, how many delegates? How many electors does uh, does Alaska have? I think uh, they have like three. Yeah, that's number one. Okay, number two, I mean, this is a woman who has, you want to talk about Obama having no experience? This woman is a first-term governor of Alaska. Alaska. <laughs> they don't have any issues over there. <laughs> She's got five kids. Wow. She's from Alaska. That is crazy. I mean, can you imagine if that McCain keeled over from old age? And then your country is being run by this woman who's a first-term governor from Alaska? <laughs> Did he say why he picked her? Um, you know, I, 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 it's the usual reasons, of course. You know, she's a good conservative and blah, blah. You know, they, look, clearly, uh, look. This is how they think over there, okay? Well, let's see. The Democrats have a black guy. We got to get somebody. Let's get a woman. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm, and I don't, I don't think he, I don't think he's going to win out of that one. 
I don't. I think he's going to lose tremendously. Well, right that. now they're neck and neck. But we'll see what happens now following the convention. There'll be new polls coming out in the next 24 hours, and、uh, we'll see where people are at. Man, all right, Tom, can't you、uh, uh, send me out with the、um, the Kobe Bryant? I certainly can, DeAndre. Oh, oh. This is about us.、Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, here's Robert on the Tom Lagos show. Hello, Tom. How's it going? Love、Pretty、the show. Good. Thank you. Love your work. Listen, I want to shy away from politics right now because I think、uh, everybody's had just about enough of it this late in the year. So, I'd like to tell you a little story. You were talking、uh, the other day about、uh, making your girlfriend cry when you dump her. Got a、yes. good story for you. All right. All right. So listen. Let me start off by saying I've been a listener for a, while, a long time. So prior to meeting this stripper that I'm actually going to talk about, I was actually following your rules and actually got her to pay most of my bills, my car, and my rent. So this is why I ended up with her. Unfortunately, as most strippers are, are they're kind of unstable. So she got kind of crazy with me, too controlling, and I was having enough. I was just had about had enough of it, and I wanted to get rid of her. So I was. Living with her, trying to get my own place on the side. As I've heard your your、uh, your advice before, get your place, and then when she's at work, get up and go. It's pretty much what I did.、Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get everything, so I had to go back. Upon getting back to this、uh, apartment we were in, she you never go back. You never go back. I made the mistake. Made the mistake. So I show up there. She goes crazy on me. Crazy. She starts trembling and crying, saying she can't believe this after all this time. I'm looking at it like, you know what? You're crazy. I gotta go. She gets crazy. She starts picking up bottles, throwing bottles at me. She goes. She gets a cup. She breaks this cup on my head. At which point, I have to literally push her out of my way just so I can get out the front door. As I'm going through the front door, she runs at me with a butcher knife. I had to duck out of the way, push her. She actually stabbed. The drywall in the apartment and made a huge hole in it with this butcher knife before she got me. As I'm leaving the apartment, her mom drives up. Apparently, she had already advised that I was on my way. Her mom drives up, and more of the same with her mom. Her mom goes insane on me. It was horrible, Tom. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Long story short, I got out of there. She, kept, she didn't leave me alone for three, four weeks, calling me every day, ten times a day, leaving messages, crying, showing up at my work, showing up at my at my parents' house, looking for me. She couldn't find me. I didn't show her where I was, but it was it was unbelievable, Tom. But thanks to you, I was able to dump that bitch. Well, it's about time. But I told you, don't date strippers. I told you, don't do it. I won't do it again. Will not do it again, Tom. All right, Rob. Thanks a lot for the call. I appreciate it. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. This is Matt on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom. Hey. Hey,、uh, I just want to comment on your、uh, topic the other day about MLB and young people. Yeah.、Um, I'm eighteen, Tom, and I I love the MLB, man. I've been playing baseball since I was probably seven. Why is it that people don't like to admit they watch baseball? I. Don't know, Tom. It's it's a, it's an American sport, you know. I mean, it's it's played worldwide, but it's American pastime, and、uh, it's fun. I don't understand why people can't admit it. I don't understand it. What's your take on it?、Uh, I think it has no hypnosis factor, and so the result is I think people go to the game, but then they tell people they don't watch it or they don't care. Yeah, maybe. I mean, the- The Dodgers have lost what seven in a row. They, they're still packing them in. And unfortunately, that's my team.、I'm、big Dodger fan, big、uh, big LA fan. Period. Lakers and whatnot, but they're disappointing me at this. You time, didn't see the Dodger game last night from Washington, did you? Unfortunately, <sighs> disgusting. They're killing me. It's the worst division in baseball. The worst. Definitely, by far. And,、uh, and also, Tom, like to comment on、uh, this whole Obama thing. I, you know,、uh, George Bush, hate that guy. Hate him, Tom. Yeah, yeah. I think most Americans do. Did you see Obama speak last night?、Um, I watched about half of it, 
and uh, something came up, so I had to leave, but I recorded it, so when I get home from work tonight, I'm going to finish it. After watching that stumbling fool who's been president for eight years, I don't care if you agree with the guy, wasn't it refreshing to see an intelligent, well-spoken person I have uh, that, who was. might become president? <laughs> yeah, definitely, Tom, definitely. We've gotten used to this moron who's the president. We've gotten used to that. Uh, I couldn't believe it. Here was a guy who didn't stumble, didn't stammer. He had his facts. He looked into the camera. He started, uh, you know, uh, calling out jo uh, John McCain. It was fantastic. Exactly. Exactly. It's it's great to hopefully see uh, the United States take a big turnaround and actually be, hopefully, the economy being the economy being the plus opposed to the minus. Yeah. There's Definitely. no doubt about it. Well, I'll put it this way. It can't get much worse. Exactly. I I definitely agree. And, I'm, the, you know, they're lowering the gas prices, but they're only going to put them up. You know, it's only going to go back up. So the only thing I dis disagree with Obama on is the uh, pulling the troops straight out of Iraq. I, I want them out. I mean, I have family over there and everything. But I don't think we can just pull out at an Well, I don't think he's proposed to just pull out the day after he gets uh, uh, inaugurated. He said about 16 months of approximately, right? That's a long time. That's a long time. And by the way, that uh, General Petraeus, what a coincidence. Yesterday announcing during the Democratic convention that he wants to pull the troops out now. The Tom Likas Show.